Whoa, sorry about the legs. I haven't got much sun yet. Welcome back to the Rust Wrangler channel. As you can see, we've got another uh, kind of a funky little car here today to work on. Uh, this here is a 63 AMC Rambler 440. Uh, it's a, from a friend of mine. Um, it's not running currently. He's hoping we can get it running for him. Um, when he bought it, it was a one owner car. It's from an older Dutch fella. And uh, that guy did a few little funky things to it, which we'll show you here in a minute when we walk around it. But um, pretty unique little car. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Now, I will mention, just like the uh, 38 Coupe I did on the last episode, uh, this one is also for sale. I'd like to mention also that uh, if anybody is interested in this car, or if you know somebody that might be, um, just mention it in the comments and I'll see if I can uh, shoot you my email and hopefully we can make something happen. Uh, my wife, is, she really likes this car just because it's so unique and different. Uh, so I need to get it out of here before she decides she wants to keep it. But as you can see here, there is some funky bubbling or something happening with the paint. It seems to mainly be on the front fenders. And then you got some down low uh, there in the back here and both sides. But uh, let's go check the other side a second. There's the rear end, kind of neat looking. Um, again, a little more bubbling, so it started chipping off right here. You got some more down here, and then this front fender again. You have some weird bubbling going on, but uh, kind of a funky little car. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the interior real quick and I think what he told me was this thing actually got left with the windows open sitting so he's got a little bit of uh, surface rust happening in a few places and uh, the floor might have had a little bit of water on it or uh, moisture going in there but uh, all in all the seats look really nice uh, front and rear Apparently, uh, the rear defrost was acting up, so that uh, Dutch fella put a dehumidifying deal back there in the rear window. But as you can see, the dash is pretty cool. He's got some extra gauges there, that's nice. Um, one thing that guy did the guy he bought it from this door stopped holding itself open so he drilled a hole in the arm here put a little pin that way he could let the door sit and it wouldn't close on him just kind of a odd little deal but uh let's go ahead and take a peek in the trunk real quick and then we'll uh, look under the hood. So let's see here. There we go. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, he's already installed a boat tank back here. Um, so obviously that means that the uh, the fuel tank was all rusted out or or uh, too dirty to use or something. And uh, that's actually kind of nice. Now we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I don't know if he had fuel coming up to the front, but we'll, we'll go ahead and figure that out later. Um, he's got the air cleaner back here. And he's got a box of parts. Um, it looks like he's got a few voltage regulators in here. So I don't know if uh, that's something to be concerned about. I guess we'll find that out here in a few. But anyways, let's uh, let's go ahead and move on up to the front. OK, 
Okay, this thing's got a pretty cool little hood ornament there. All right, and there we have it. Straight six. Uh, he's got these uh, horns that he put in here, the Dutch guy, and uh, we'll show you those in a bit. They're kind of funny. I think uh, what he was saying is uh, they're from an old Dutch TV show, I believe. They had a similar horn, and that's why he put it on here. So we'll we'll listen to that here in a few. Um, he had a uh, disconnect installed on the battery, so. Hopefully that thing, the battery is still good to go. We'll test that before we do anything. Um, oh, let's see here. I believe, oh yeah, on these, the dipstick is right here. And it looks like our oil level is pretty good and looks super clean. So I'm assuming that he's changed oil recently. Um, and then the transmission, let's go ahead and look at that. We got fluid on there, do the little smell test. Doesn't smell burnt, it smells pretty good actually. So I'm, hopefully that's uh, decent. Um, so I think what we'll do first here it's obviously check to make sure we got uh, enough battery voltage and then uh, maybe we'll go ahead and spin it over just to make sure and see what it sounds like and then uh, I think I will go ahead and dump a little fuel down the carb to start with and uh, just make sure that uh, we're just not having a fuel delivery issue and if that doesn't fire it up then uh, we'll dive into spark so let's get to it okay battery test let's see what we get here oh yeah battery seems to have plenty of juice so then let's uh do a little fuel test dump a little fuel in there And see if she barks off for us. If not, then I think we're good to check out Spark. Okay. And we got nothing. So, now that we know that, I think it's safe to assume we can start looking at uh, points, coil, and anything to do with the Spark here and uh, start weeding things out. So let's start digging into that. Okay, so <clears throat> next I'll check the resistance on the two terminals of the coil here. And that gives us a 1.7, which is good. Uh, I believe, um, as far as I understand, on a coil that has a ballast resistor in line, you're supposed to only have, or you're supposed to get a lower ohms reading. And it looks like that's what we got here. So I believe that's correct. All right, also I'm gonna quick, uh, I'm gonna quick check the points here before I go running around doing a bunch of other stuff. And we'll go ahead and pull this distributor cap off and see how things look underneath there. Okay. All right. So that looks really clean under there. Real nice. Um, The rotor looks good. It does look a little corroded on the points. Shh. 
So I might go ahead and clean those up a minute and before we do anything else and that way we eliminate that as an issue okay so i got a little piece of fine grit sandpaper here we're going to go ahead and just kind of file those down just a little bit and see if we can't get a better connection on that Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of spray them off with some brake cleaner here. Let that dry off. All right, so now that I got the uh, uh, the points cleaned off and they're dried up I'm gonna do a little test here I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key back on and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I got this uh, light tester here now obviously if I go to the coil here I get the light you know on the power side now technically, I should have power at the points here as well. And if I open the points, oh, seems kind of intermittent, but I am getting power there. Not on, not on every, yeah, when I open the points, I'm getting power to it. So, haven't done that. I guess technically I should be getting spark. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the cap and rotor back on here, and we'll we'll uh, check by one of the spark plugs here with a little spark tester and see if we get spark there. So let's throw this back on. Let's see what the spark tester does for us. I'll go grab that. So I'll throw this in line. And we'll kind of just lay it right here where we can see it. Let's see, try to get it good there. Okay, and I'll go uh, give it a try. Obviously that was it. Uh, that's, the windshield wiper caught me on the side of the face when I turned it on there. And apparently there is fuel making it up to the car. This is awesome. Wow. Okay, so we do have spark. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that back off. And we'll go ahead and just hook the wire back up. So it looks like it was just dirty points. That ain't bad at all. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the uh, air cleaner out of the back there. And we're gonna throw that back on. And, uh, and then we'll give her a little uh, move test make sure everything is um, good as far as the transmission goes and brakes and hopefully we can take it for a spin all right so i'm not really sure i got the uh the air cleaner here <clears throat> i think i'm missing some kind of cap that's supposed to go up here but i'm pretty sure 
this just is gonna sit right on here. There's a screw that drops in there. And that would sit right on there. Um, obviously there's really nothing to hold it down here. And there's a hose that goes down this side, connects to like a vent tube. Um, so really, there's almost no point in putting it on there if there's nothing to hold it down. So I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, have to run it without it and uh, see how she does. All right, so before we try to take this thing for a spin, I totally forgot to show you guys the horn. Um, and I'm gonna do that right now. So go ahead and feast your ears on this. Well, I'm not really sure uh, what show that's from or anything like that, but it's pretty goofy. If any of you guys know of an old Dutch show or European show that had a car with a horn like that, uh, maybe throw it down in the comments. All right, so let's go ahead and shut that. And let's get ready to take it for a little spin. Okay. First of all, I feel like a giant in this car. Uh, gotta pull the pin out of my door. All right, let's see if she fires up again. Fires up like a champ. Actually runs pretty darn good. Okay, we're in drive and she is moving. I think we're good to go. Man, this is sweet. I did feel like my knees are in my chest, but that's okay. I'm assuming I'm going about 25, 30 right now, so I guess it is probably. 
probably reading right. That's kind of neat. So, then the gauges again, yeah, they're reading good, temp's good, oil pressure's good. So, let's go ahead and bring her back and uh, just do a once over again and then uh, I think that'll about do it for this car. Okay, so uh, I actually um, just got off the road here and this thing died on me again and I lost uh, spark at the points again. I'm going to go ahead and try to just clean them up again and see if we get action again. Alright, so I shaved down the points uh, a little more and uh, Put the distributor all back together. Let's see if she fires up for us. Okay. Still no fire. Let's see if I... A little fuel down there. nothing interesting so uh, I got great spark now I poured a little fuel down the carb still would not fire and I'm like you know that is weird I don't know what is going on but you'd probably need that in there wouldn't you idiot so now I gotta pull this apart again and I should probably put all the parts back in it before I go to try try firing it again. All right, so now that I got all the correct parts back in there, let's give her one more shot. Let's see what she does for us. Huh, imagine that. Imagine that. Okay. She's back up and running. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get her on home. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, like, subscribe. Uh, that'll help me keep this channel going. And uh, we'll hopefully have another car up here soon. And we'll see you next time.